Hi, uh, welcome to the electrical channel here, Urke Electrical Channel. So today we are going to show you how to install a soap panel from uh, the main panel right here. We're going to put a soap panel that's going to feed a office that is being built outside. So we're going to go from here uh, to, to that uh, wall over there and go out. So now we are going to show you uh, how we're going to pick. You see this panel here is full right now. So we are going to remove two breakers here and two breakers in this panel and then put a 60 amp breaker from here to feed this sub panel here. Take those two breakers, put them in this sub panel here and feed uh, those uh, outlets from this sub panel now not from the main panel no more the main panel gonna feed the sub panel the sub panel gonna feed those outlet uh, after we finish uh, wiring the sub panel right here and then we're gonna pick um, take uh, the, the two uh, wires here and then go out to feed the other uh, sub panel outside all right thank you everyone for watching Okay, as you can see, we have opened the main panel here uh, with the main breaker right here, a 100 amp breaker. This is a 100 amp panel right here with all the space occupied by breakers for this house. So to go outside, we needed to go feed that office, the building outside, we need a space, the two breakers to have the 240 volts uh, plus the neural to uh, take outside so we're gonna move these two breakers right here these two breakers right here and then uh, from this sub panel here we're gonna bring the uh, two wires 240 volt and then connect to a breaker 60 uh, uh, amp breaker here that's breaker gonna feed this panel right here and then from this panel, we're gonna go outside. These two breakers, we're gonna remove from uh, this main panel here. We're gonna come and put them here in this panel here to feed now those um, outlet that was fed by these uh, two breakers. So that's we, what we're gonna do right now. And after we remove these two breakers, we put the 60 amp breaker in place, connect these two, uh, wires this is a six american wire gauge wires for six uh, we're gonna put a 60 amp breaker right here and then through we're gonna feed this sub panel after that we're gonna put these breakers that we're gonna remove here in this sub panel here to feed uh, we're gonna come back to you soon okay now uh, we're gonna turn off our two uh, breakers here so Remember always before you take off a breaker in a panel, make sure you turn it off first. After you turn it off, you can disconnect it from the panel. Okay. Pull it off. Pull it, pull it off. Okay. Now we have our two blades here that give us that's gonna give us 240 volt so we take our uh, new breaker make sure that one too is off in the off position and try to hook it in place move back a little bit okay. Right there. So this is what we're gonna use here. It's a 60 amp. Can you uh, get closer to see 60 amp to show the 60 amp? Okay, 60 amp double pole. Okay. So we're gonna remove it for now to connect the wires first, and then we're gonna that uh, we're gonna put it back. Okay. So okay. Okay. As you can see now, we have connected the two uh, wires that's gonna fed the sub panel and 
we have hooked up the 6 amp breaker to the panel now it's ready and uh, we have the neutral wire that's connected to the um, neutral bar and remember uh, in the main panel the neutral and the ground wires are always connected together as you can see the, this is the bare ground wires and this is the neutral white wire they are all connected to the uh, neutral bar right here so the difference gonna be that in the sub panel in the sub panel here the neutral bar gonna be separate to the ground bar from here to the next uh, sub panel we're gonna put in the office that is being built over there so remember that you see we bring the panel from uh, the neutral wire from the main panel that connected to the ground here to a neutral bar in the sub panel but this neutral bar not going to be connected to the ground wires it's going to be separate from here so we are going to do uh, that and come back to you. go okay as you may see uh we, you remember we did remove two breakers here that fed something so now these wires the, these wires they come into this panel so they cannot move from here and go straight to this panel so what we're gonna do here we are gonna run wires between the two uh, panels here the sub panel and the main panel and then connect the wires with the wire knot here and uh, put them very nice in the back here uh, quite very nice in the back here and then the next breaker we're gonna do the same thing run now we're gonna connect we have connected that wire uh, from the uh, main panel now we are gonna connect it to uh, we are gonna connect it to the sub panel here okay so now we, when whenever we turn on the uh, the breaker here we have power on this uh, breaker here and we're gonna feed the the outlet that was fed by this breaker so we are gonna do the next uh, for the next breaker uh, we gotta do the same thing again and we gotta take a wire uh, we gotta take uh, we gotta find a wire let's see uh, what amperage is this okay this is a 15 amp so we need a 14 gauge wire that we have here we have one here we have one here okay we can come back don't worry so now we're gonna run this through here okay you gotta fish it from the other side. Okay, it's giving us some hard time. So when it gives you a hard time, you gotta use make a like a something like a hook. So then see easy. You have it to the other side easily. Right here now. Let's trip the wire. Be careful, remember, always remember the, the main panel is energized. There's power in the main panel, so be careful, always be aware about that. So we're going to use our pliers, twist. Some people like to lift uh, the wire not to twist the wires. Okay, it's okay sometimes. It, it did it good, but uh, better to use the pliers and start the twist after that. Then you use the wire nuts to finish it nicely. Okay. 